of you already know, I absolutely love Fujifilm. I love their glass, their camera system, and their customer support. It's a brilliant company and I absolutely adore it. Here is my main Fujifilm camera. It's a Fujifilm X-A2. I'll show you some B-roll right now. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the camera settings that I use the most often. First of all, this is the kit lens. It's just a regular lens, nothing special. And I should also say that my Fujifilm has a lot of shooting options. But in this video, I'm going to talk about shooting in shutter priority and manual mode. Because they're what I use the most. Okay, so let's go into shutter priority. I personally use an ISO as low as possible. But you should know that the Fujifilm gets really clear photos up to 1600. Which is superb in my opinion. I shoot all my photos in 3x2. It's for personal reasons and I'm not going to go into that. For picture quality, I sometimes shoot raw, but more often than not, I shoot fine. This is the highest JPEG quality possible. Dynamic range, I don't fill with ads auto all the time. But most importantly, is the film simulations. Okay, so different camera manufacturers have different picture profiles and different shooting modes, such as S-Log, uh, CineStyle, etc. But Fujifilm has film simulations. Now these, try to emulate the much beloved Fujifilm film and this this camera is a bit old it's um gone go three years this year but it still has a lot of options my favorite two are either standard or classic chrome I shoot all my street photography and holly photos in classic chrome though that is just oh it's top notch in my opinion so this is the guts of my settings this is how I get my personal look that you see all over my Instagram Color is always zero. I never mess with this, it's fine out of camera. I go down one stop in highlights and up one stop in shadows. This gives me a bigger dynamic range for you out of camera without any artificial business. For sharpness and noise reduction, I kind of change this depending on what I'm doing. But if I'm just doing family photos, I just up the sharpness by one and I never add sharpness in post production. But if it's a page shoot, I usually go sharpness zero or minus one, and then add it in post production. I don't feel with noise reduction, but you can if you want. I always have my IS or image stabilization at plus two, and this gives a really nice clean look when you're shooting straight out of camera. The remainder of these settings are not really that important, and there are personal preferences. I, for instance, have face detection always on eye priority to my left eye and I fill it around with a focus but I personally love manual focus mainly due to Fujifilm's excellent focus peaking and multi focus. I have my AF illuminator which is a slow small light bulb right here turned off. What this little bulb does is it illuminates your subject in the middle of the night so that the camera can autofocus really easily. However, it's super distracting if you're taking like street photographs or photographs anywhere in public and people start to avoid you and like make faces so I just keep that off it's so much angrier. Last few settings are what I use for my videos and I shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second also with continuous autofocus now this is great in the daytime anywhere in public even it, it even tracks my face really well however if I'm doing indoor videos such as my cooking videos, I always shoot in manual focus. And these are my settings really. I should also state that when I'm shooting videos with this footage film, I cannot change my shutter speed or my aperture directly. So this is why I shoot in shutter priority because here I can use exposure compensation, this little wheel right here, where I bump it up or bump it down and that allows me to change the exposure for my videos. So let's say I'm in a right, really bright room. I can just turn this down and make it nicely exposed. On the other hand, if I'm shooting indoors and doing a cooking video, I'll bump it all the way up and I'll also use like a lamp to illuminate my food. These are all my settings that I use on a regular. However, if you want to ask some questions on why I choose something or why I don't, you can ask below because I'll be answering most of them. 